solve some problems on SFD and BMD for cantilever beams. Here we would be dealing only in cantilever beams. Let us start the first question. It is mentioned a cantilever beam as shown in figure, the diagram is given. We have to draw SFD and BMD for this beam. So first of all, write the data for this question. We are in question number one for cantilever beams. The data is given in the form of a diagram. This is the diagram which is given in the question. We have to draw shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for this beam. So starting the solution, the first step is calculation of support reaction. Here as we have cantilever beam which is fixed at one end so there will only be reaction at this one end there won't be reaction at the free end here i have ra this value which i have to calculate so it can be simply calculated by saying summation of fy is equal to zero that is the sum of all vertical forces zero upward forces are positive and downward forces negative so hence here i can say ra is upward so positive minus 1 downward minus 2 it is downward and minus 3 that's equal to 0 so ra value will be this will be minus 6 if i shift it onto the other side that becomes 6 kilo newton so here is my first step where i've calculated the support reaction at the fixed end now after this i will write down sf calculation Here I am mentioning a point that for cantilever beams start SF calculations from free end. Here I have written a note that if you are calculating for cantilever beams then start your shear force calculation from the right hand side that is the free end now here i will be marking the convention first upward force to the left of section downward force to the right of section are positive downward force to the left of section and upward force to the right of section are negative so first I will be calculating SF at point B that will be equal to here I am starting from the free end I will take the section just to the left of B and if I see here to the right of this section I have 3 kN load which is downward so if there is downward load to the right that is positive so here I have plus 3 kilo Newton next SF at point D will be equal to here I will be taking the section just to the left of D so here I have two forces that is plus 3 plus 2 that becomes plus 5. Then SF at point C it will be equal to taking the section to the left of C 3 plus 2 plus 1. Plus 6 kilonewton 
So these are the shear forces value which we have. Based on this, we can draw the shear force diagram. And for that, we have to draw the cantilever beam again. This is the cantilever beam which they have given in the problem. So for drawing the shear force diagram, we have to project all the points downward. Point A, then point C. Point D. And point B. As we know, the length of shear force diagram should be equal to the length of the beam. Here I have calculated shear force from the free end. So the first value was shear force at point B, that was 3 kN. At point D, the value was 5. At C, the value was 6 kN. Now, between B to D, there is no load, so shear force remains constant between B to D. Then, at point D, because of 2 kN load, there is an increase up to 5 kN. After that, again, since there is no load between D to C, so we have a straight line between D to C. Next, here there is an increase up to 6 kN and finally the load remains constant. All values of shear force are positive so they are plotted above and this is the SFD which we have. Here we have the shear force diagram. Now below this we would be drawing the bending moment diagram. For that I will say that it is my step number 3. That is BM calculations. Remember the first point that for cantilever beams bending moment at free end is zero. This point we have to remember. So here if we see at point B since it is free end bending moment will be zero. Moment at B is equal to zero. I can write down since it is free end Next, if I want to calculate moment at D, I'll write down bending moment at D is equal to drawing the sign convention. Clockwise moment to the left and anticlockwise moment to the right are positive. Anticlockwise moment to left and clockwise moment to right are negative. So here if I see if I am calculating the bending moment at point D, so my section is at D and to the right of D I have only one force 3 kN which would be producing a clockwise moment. So clockwise moment to the right is negative. So here I have minus 3 into 1 that's minus 3 kN meter. Now bending moment at C. is equal to here I have to the right of section two forces because of three kilonewton and two kilonewton both are clockwise so 
to the right of section if you have clockwise moment that is negative so here i have minus 3 into the distance between point c and up to this end that is 1.5 meters so here i have minus 3 into 1.5 then 2 into this distance is 0 0.5 meters therefore moment at c comes out to be 5.5 .5 with a negative sign kilonewton meter and at last we have bending moment at point a is equal to minus 3 into 2.5 minus 2 into 1.5 minus 1 into 1 so if i calculate this i would be getting the answer of moment at a is equal to 11.5 kilonewton meter so these are the values of bending moment which we have based on these values we can easily draw the bending moment diagram As we know the length of bending moment diagram will also be equal to the length of the beam. At point B the bending moment is 0. At point D the value is 3. At C it is 5.5. .5. At A it is 11.5. wherever shear force is a straight line a constant line bending moment will be an inclined line you can see that all these they are straight lines throughout all the values are negative so here is the bending moment diagram which we have as mentioned in the question we have completed the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram and with this the problem gets completed.